welcome to my duets review of last night's episode, the finale! Woo! Woo! Actually, it wasn't that exciting, but... <laughs> um, yeah, so pretty much all it was, was, um, the remaining three contestants sang a duet. Duh! And then the two recent people who were eliminated, Olivia and Bridget, uh, performed as well with um, their duet partners. I don't know why I'm talking like this. But um, yeah, so pretty much it was just a bunch of pointless performances, but a lot of good performances, may I add. Some of the best performances of the season, may I add. And it stinks that these were voting performances or competition performances because, damn, these were good performances. So yeah, to kick off the show, oh my god, we had a Jennifer and Kelly Clarkson duet. <gasps> it was amazing! Oh my god! I've been waiting for this all season. I've been saying this every single week. When are we going to see Kelly and Jennifer sing a duet together? I mean, it needs to happen. It needs to happen. And it happened. Oh my god. They sang, um, When I Lie to You, Baby. Oh my god. Well, the beginning, well, you know, the beginning was kind of, I was like, really? They're singing this? Really? But at the end, when they were just wailing, I was just like, ah! I need to see both of them in concert. I need to see Sugarland. I need to see Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson is coming to my town, but I don't even know if I can go. I don't even know if I can go. I need to, though. Okay, this is what happens when I don't write down what I have to say, because <laughs> I just talk about random stuff. Okay, so anyways... Uh, what happened after that? Sorry, I didn't write this down, damn it. I thought I could maybe do this without writing anything down, but I can't. Um, okay, yeah. Next, we had Bridget and John singing Gimme Shelter. This was Bridget's best performance, and if she would have performed this last week, or no, two weeks ago, she would have maybe been in the finale. Yes, maybe, because this was... It was great. I loved it. Wow. Okay, and then next we had... What did we have after that? Next, we had Robin Thicke and Olivia Chisholm singing Fever. So, I was like, when this started, I was like, I do not want to hear Olivia sing again. That's the last thing that I want to do. But it actually... It was okay. It, it, yeah. It was okay. It, it wasn't horrible. But it wasn't like, uh, uh, you know? You know? You get me. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I think I'm on something, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not on drugs. I promise you. I promise you. <sighs> okay. Oh, and then next, we had John Glosson and Jennifer Nettles singing a song. <sighs> From Wicked. Oh my god! They sang for good from Wicked. I am a huge Wicked fan, and I literally flipped a shit when I found out they were singing this. When they said for good, I was like, no, they didn't say it. I heard it, and I, and I heard the music, and I was just like, <gasps> yes! Okay, so that was amazing. I loved it. And then after that, we had Kelly Clarkson and Jason Farrell singing Heartbreak Hotel. This was awesome as well. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Jason Farrell and Kelly Clarkson do it again. You know, I wouldn't have never thought Jason Farrell would have um, had a chance of winning. But I, I thought he did after the past couple of weeks. But as you know, that didn't ha end up happening. But, oh, by the way, he was the one that I wanted to win. I remember I said last week I wanted someone to win. I wanted Jason to win, um, even though I've been a John fan um, the whole time, and I, I I think Jerome's talented. It's just for some reason I'm not really a fan. I don't know why. 
But yeah, I wanted Jason to win. Just because I love Kelly Clarkson, and it would have been awesome for her to win another competition. You know, just be something awesome, just something awesome and even more cool about her. And Jason Farrell, he's grown so much, and I always love a good underdog, so I would have wished he won. I really hope Kelly Clarkson helps him out, and hopefully something happens. I don't know. Do I see any of these people becoming huge superstars? The only person I see who really has a shot at it is Jerome. John is probably going to be more of a contemporary kind of kind of person, and Jason. It really depends on the direction he goes. Could go either way. But um, yeah, I'm I'm getting off topic. But anyways, after Jason was Jennifer and Jerome, and they sang "Rhythm of the Night." Eh, it was okay. Um, cheesy. But entertaining. So, good. And then, time for the results. Sue! So, this was very predictable, even though I would have liked to have seen something different. But, what everyone thought was going to happen, happened. Jason Farrell came in third place. John came in second. And the winner of Duets is... Jerome! Okay. It's over! <laughs> this is so happy! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I was getting sick of this show. Like, oh, it's so annoying. <sighs> okay, it's over. I can let it all out. I hate do it! I hate this show! I hate this show! Ah! <laughs> Yes, let it be known. <laughs> oh <God. laughs> Am I really going to put this on YouTube? <laughs> yes, let it be known <laughs> to everyone that I hated this show. I only reviewed it because I wanted something to do in the summer. Alright. <sighs> Come down there. Tell me what you thought. And right over there, give me a thumbs up because I am ridiculous. And sub up there because I am awesome. All right, so I am still doing Glee Project reviews, so check out that. And then this weekend, yes, this weekend, I'm going to have all the rest of the performances of my American Idol countdown. Yes, all the rest, all 20, because I have been stupid and haven't posted any in like the last couple of weeks. So yes. I'll finally have all of them up this weekend because I have absolutely nothing going on and I don't know why I'm freaking out. There's something wrong with me. Blah, blah. Okay, bye.